Hello and welcome back. Today it's a requested video tutorial. I am going to show you how to make coffee using mocha pots at home. So this time the recipes that I'm going to show you are not necessarily for business but you can also check out my other video tutorials on how to make this delicious coffee drinks without an espresso machine using a simple mocha pot. For those at home, when you have a mocha pot, you really don't go into details the way I have shown you in some of my video clips where you have to use a scale, you have to use a coffee grinder and all those things. Today is going to be very, very simple. I'm going to show you how to make hot Americano, hot latte, hot flat white, hot cappuccino and hot macchiato. I am going to use my four cup breaker here which means I can get four cups of 30 ml because one cup is equal to 30 milliliters of coffee yield from this from this mocha pot let's take a look at the ingredients because these are all coffee no flavored drinks I'm going to use just milk for all my milky drinks and I'm going to use my coffee beans now this is my house blend it's 100% arabica medium roast coffee beans and for those that are brewing from home you probably don't have a grinder so what you do is you buy medium ground coffee that means when you buy your coffee beans make sure that you tell them it is for mocha pot and it's usually medium to fine grind so I've got here my ground coffee and because I'm going to make cappuccino I'm going to add some cinnamon here you can also use chocolate okay for the equipment I'm going to use my hot plate you can use the regular hot plate from your gas stove there and also I'm going to use my electric milk frother this is to form my milk now to warm my milk I'm going to use the microwave just to make sure it is warm I'm going to start preparing my brew here fill my pot slightly higher than the bottom of the spout and I'm going to use this to fill my boiler Okay, so I'm not really using the valve as the gauge or the measurement for my boiler here. And I always like to have a little bit of a hill there. Now put this in your boiler. Now whilst waiting for that, I'm going to warm my milk in the microwave. My milk is warm now, I am going to froth this whilst waiting for my coffee to brew, but make sure you keep an eye on there. For my milky drinks, I'm going to use four ounces for my macchiato, four ounces for my flat white, six ounces for my latte, and six ounces for my cappuccino. For a four cup bricka, it should take about three to four minutes for the coffee to start flowing out of your pot. So I'm going to just take it off the heat for now let it flow I don't want it to be going too high and then I'm going to just reduce the heat and put my pot back on that so what I'm aiming for is for all the water that I put in the boiler to come out completely about 30 ml each And now it's time to assemble my drinks. So for my macchiato, all I need will be just a little bit of the milk foam. Just two. Okay, and that should be my macchiato. Very simple when you are doing this at home. Okay, and then for my flat white, I am just going to pour milk over it, so it's coffee with milk. For the flat white, all you need is milk without any foam. All you want here is to reduce the bitterness of the coffee, moderate the taste of the coffee with milk, but not to overwhelm the drink with milk. And now for my latte, it's going to be a lot more milk. Okay, so this is latte, so you'd like it to be more milky than a flat white. And then I'm going to just put a little bit of the milk foam on top just to differentiate this from the flat white 
and for our final drink is the cappuccino I'm going to put some cinnamon there so you can put this on top or you can put this before you put the milk put the foam first more and then I'm going to pour the milk into the middle okay and that is my cappuccino Okay, so let me just put this, fill this to the top. This is just foam, no milk, okay? And if you want all of this to look full, then I would say just fill this to the top. There you go. And finally, I want to make my Americano, so I still have some coffee here so it's just really black coffee so about 30 to 45 ml there and then fill it to the top with hot water and this is your hot americano using the mocha pot now it's time to try when you serve these drinks you can serve them just like this one and then you can add an optional sugar so it's up to your customer or whoever members of your family that will be drinking this to decide whether they want to add sugar or not okay now let me try and I will tell you whether I need to add sugar in them okay so I'm going to start with um, the Americano which is just black coffee this is diluted with water I'm gonna say because my coffee tastes good it's okay this is perfect to start your day and it's a very very simple way of making your coffee um, I can't complain really it is it's not bad at all okay. now this is the macchiato usually you just put one dollop of milk foam there but I want it to look full so I added quite a bit of milk there and the idea of the milk foam is to make sure that it is moderated add a little bit of sweetness from the milk but not to overwhelm the taste of the coffee with milk okay so now it's going to be quite hard to drink through that foam okay finally got there mm. wow I must say that this is mocha pot coffee but it is perfectly fine as far as I'm concerned it's just your normal black coffee but with a little bit of sweetness from the milk it is good I like it now my flat white this is nothing fancy you don't put any latte art here to be honest if people have been showing you how to make um, all these drinks using the mocha pot and just an electric milk frother like the way I did it and then show that they can make latte art out of it it is a skill it is an acquired skill but uh, if you're making this at home all you need really is you don't want it to be too fancy with milk foam all you want is to add milk to your coffee and if, even if you don't have the milk frother you can make this drink so all you need to do is to warm your milk and pour it over your brewed coffee from the mocha pot mm. now I like the taste of this one this is um, so light and uh, the milk is also not overwhelming even though it is uh, a lot more milk than what um, is used in a macchiato mm. this one tastes very milky that is because uh, there's a lot more milk but um, is is absolutely smooth I still wouldn't add sugar into this drink and now for my cappuccino Mm. the taste of the coffee here is stronger a little bit more bitter I probably would put some sweetener some but not a lot but I could taste that uh, cinnamon taste um, in that cappuccino which gives it a little bit of sweetness if you are a mocha pot coffee maker then I would suggest that you try each one of these drinks if you are a milky coffee drinker try four of these and then decide which one is you which one do you prefer if you're a black coffee drinker no sweat very simple all you need to do is to brew your coffee add water and that's it if I were to make a choice now which of these five is my favorite I would say 
it's not easy, but I would rank them according to the taste and um, what I like the most from this batch, okay? So, my first choice would be flat white. I like the taste of this. It's just coffee with milk, um, nothing fancy, nothing foamy, okay? And then I will go for actually the latte. It's my second favorite. I will go for the cappuccino and then the macchiato and finally I'm not much of a black coffee drinker, although I do like this one. I think that um, uh, for those that do not like to have milk in their drink, this is a perfect choice for you. That's all I would like to share with you today, coffee at home using mocha pots. I hope that you learned something from this tutorial. And if you have any questions at all, do let me know, comment below, so I or the community can give you some answers. In the meantime, don't forget to click that subscribe button for more of these video tutorials. The more viewers we have, the more people that share these videos, the more subscribers that we have on this channel, and the more videos I can make. Don't forget to also check out my books, All Things Milk Tea and The Basic Barista, details on how to order in the description box below. Stay safe, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.